the SAC vehicle system by Sachan. This tutorial is going to show you how to put the system into your own 3D model car. All right, let's get started. Ride or die. Ride or die. Hello everyone, Jen Obvious back with another SAC tutorial. This one we are going to put the SAC vehicle system 1.63 into our own 3D model. Uh, this is a scene, uh, just a basic plane, and I've got the SAC, the new version, SAC Flight 1.63, already installed. So you need Unity, the Creator Companion to get it all started, and the SAC Flight system. All that is in here. All right, so we've got, or I've got a taxi cab here. This is just a 3D model. Uh, it has interior and it's imported uh, I think I got this off CG Trader but there's other model websites you can import your own vehicle and I'm going to show you how to put the SAC car which is underneath your prefabs and the one I'm using is the shoreline so basically you're going to drag and drop it into your scene okay that's what I've done here I haven't altered the shape of this at all, have it downsized it, uh, etc. The model I've put in here, I have replaced the glass on my 3D model with the glass of the shoreline. So, to, so you can see the inside and drive it around uh, and so forth. Okay, so I've got the my model here, which is the taxi cab. All right. All we got in here is the taxi cab and the shoreline and the sac flight accessories. So I put the taxi cab in here and put all the textures on it. Anyway, what you want to do, and this is the way I do it, other creators may have another way of doing it, but uh, take your model, whatever model it is. Um, if you're doing a car, I suggest the shoreline. Uh, if you're doing a truck, the ST Thunder down here, or the Baron for a dune buggy and so forth. The closest one that resembles or is close to your model that you're putting in. So, got my taxi cab. Basically, it, you want to move it over the shoreline car and size it up, you know, so it's pretty much the same and I did size this taxi cab down so you want to size it down to the same size as here and it'll help you later on um, with the instrumentation and all the effects so we've got it pretty lined up uh, make sure the tires are lined up really close to the SAC shoreline tires okay and that I think that looks close enough okay the next step go up to your the car taxi body unpack your model unpack prefab completely unpack the shoreline the SAC vehicle so those are all unpacked now the model that you import it's gonna come at as a layer default and this is all the parts of the car. Now some models you can have the wheels separately. Uh, this one had it both ways. We went ahead and put the model in here for the taxi cab that has the wheels already on it. All right, so what you need to do is switch this layer on your model to walk through. And yes, you're gonna change all the children. You can see on the shoreline, that it is a layer walkthrough. So let's go back to our taxi cab and let's go to our shoreline. This is the SAC vehicle. First thing you want to do in here, go down to the shoreline right here. This is where your mesh render is. Right now the mesh is the shoreline model. We need to change that. So let's find out what our mesh is on the taxi cab. Should be right here, body. 
we want to change that SAC mesh to body. So we're going to go ahead and search body. And there it is, right there. Okay, next thing you want to do is disable that. Go down to SAC ground vehicle and do the same thing. You want to change the mesh, which is shoreline, to body. All right, so those are changed. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do is click on your model, which would be the car taxi model, car taxi body that we have. Uh, we're going to move this down to the ST shoreline uh, parent here, shoreline. All right, that's gonna put it right below the one that we disabled earlier. Okay, the next thing we have to do is go down the list and make sure everything is in its proper location. Now, dial functions, leave that alone. The car driver's seat, since it's on the right side of the SAC vehicle, you will have to change that to the left side because this model has a left steering wheel. Let's go ahead and move the car passenger over to the right side. Make sure and resize your colliders. Let's go ahead and click on the car driver's seat. And you can reset your colliders by the box collider. Um, what you want to do is have the top. Right there is where your head's going to be right here. So you want that right at the top of the car there. And then you can resize. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit hard to see. But it takes a little practice and you'll get it. So do the same thing to the other passenger seat. And if you want a passenger in the back of your car, that's fine. You can also disable any ones that you do not want. All right, so the seats are there. Uh, they'll need more adjustment, of course. Let's go down to the in vehicle. Now this is off by default because it's not on until you get in the car. Let's go ahead and turn it on and now you can see the instrumentation. Now to, you'll need to move this around and to your liking here. Now this is kind of all, it's, a, it's roughly in the same spot but it needs some adjustment. So let's click on the stick left display and now we can adjust that and move it we can resize it however you want to do it to go to your instrumentation on your new model however you want it to look good stick display right same thing move that to where you want it the gauges let's go ahead and move over here these are the different gauges for the gears and so forth the fuel gauge Let's go ahead and move the fuel gauge. And we can move that and place it wherever we want it on the new model dash. Health, same way. Uh, the boost gauge. You want to go ahead and move that to gauge over here and it may take you some finesse depending on your mouse um, let's see if it'll mine will cooperate and get us close in there alright uh, it's pretty close alright the boost gauge you want to put that right over the uh, nitro. And since we resized the other one down, we can resize that down. That way you can see the boost gauge when you hit the nitro. All right. And it's going to take some time. Uh, just maneuver these gauges around to where you want them on the new model. And don't forget, turn it back off 
before you hit play mode. All right, these are attached sounds. You have the engine sound. Interior, which you can change these sounds, or you can, you know, the horn resupply, that's a resupply sound, uh, attached effects. If you want to move any of the attached effects, then you can. Uh, let's see, that is the skid particle. So adjust the effects if you need to on your new model. One other thing of note in the vehicle, if you have the steering wheel on the right side, just like the SAC Shoreline does, go up to Car Main here in the hierarchy. Click on Steering Wheel. You'll notice it's on the right side. If your steering wheel is on the left, go ahead and move it over to the left side for your steering. Okay, I think we're ready to test it out. Let's go ahead and put hit play in our editor and we'll go ahead and jump in the driver's seat and hopefully the car will work fine <laughs> alright so let's go over here and my, for some reason my editor makes me big I have to crouch um, respawn, respawns good driver oh. forgot my, have my audio not on all right, so we're in the driver's seat, and the driver's seat uh, needs a little bit of adjustment. So you can, um, let me show you how to adjust it real quick. If you notice, the car driver's seat is right here, but clicking on this, see how the seat is way down there? So you want to maneuver that. The blue arrow is always where you're facing. And your exit, uh, if you want to leave the vehicle, make sure that is off to the side away from the model. Target height. This is where you're going to be looking through the window. So let's go ahead and move that there. Uh, looks okay. And you're going to do that for the same thing on the other side as well. This is the passenger seat. I'm just not on the other side. Target height. So now it should look a lot better. We should be in a better seating position, but you have to uh, adjust it, and it takes time to get it right to where you want to sit. All right, so let's go over here and driver's seat. Now that looks better. I'm still over to the left a little bit. But that's fine. You can adjust it. All right, let's go ahead and test the gear. That's awesome. Pretty cool, huh, guys? All right, let's exit that. And that is how you put the SAC vehicle system into your own 3D model.